everyone, this is me Satya here and I'm doing your second week of uh, January reading start from the 8th through the 14th of January 2021. This is going to be for the sign of Leo. Let's see what is coming up for you guys for this week time. I will be adding uh, oracle cards in this reading. I will be uh, also pulling some uh, message cards coming from the person that you are dealing with as well in this reading. So stay tuned but no charms will be added. So yeah, uh, while I shuffle the cards, let me remind you it's a general reading. It may, it may not resonate with everyone out there. So always pick the messages which are resonating and leave the rest for personal readings. You can always reach out to me on my email ID in the description box. You can also follow me on Instagram where I do upload daily readings. So yeah, let's see <clears throat> what is happening uh, for you guys for this week time videos. Let's begin. Nine of Wands. Having your guards up, um, I feel like, you know, whatever it is that you are having your guards up against, maybe you just need to, um, take this thing out of your mind for now. Like, you know, just put an end to whatever it is that you are holding yourself, you know, holding your guards up for. Uh, because the more you're going to keep your guards up for this person, the more you're going to stay stuck in the situation, the more you put your guards down and move on, let go of it, let go of this energy, the, the sooner whatever it is that you want, whatever it is that you desire in this particular situation as an outcome of this, you know, whatever it is that, that is making you push, uh, you know, uh, have your guards up against this. Like, let me, let me give you an example. If, if you are holding your guards up against a person because they were not treating you right now, uh, and you are deciding to, you know, uh, put your guards up for this person. If that's what you're doing, you really have to just forget this person. Just kick this person out of your mind for now. Why? Because if you don't do that, um, your your mind or your, your strings will be still attached to this one person. Now, it's very important for you to completely, you know, if you really want this person to change or to offer you something beautiful, you really have to completely cut ties. With your guards up means like you you are, you know, watching them from a distance, hoping and wishing someday they are going to reach out to you. So there is some sort of, uh, you know, um, attachment to the outcome, uh, which is going to keep you stuck, which is not going to um, let this situation evolve. If and only if you just push this energy away and just get your focus onto something else. Like, you know, you are having your guards up for this person, suppose. Like, you know, there is this person, you are having your guards up. Now... Because you are having your guards up, you're going to keep your mind on this person again and again. You will look forward to a new person. Then you're going to feel like, you know, uh, are they trying to come back or not? Are they trying to come back or not? So it's going to keep you stuck there. The You know, if you put the guards down and if you start looking forward and you just keep moving there, you you would not, you know, be focused on the or obsessed with the outcome that you desire with this one person you would be looking forward to something new something beautiful I, I don't suggest you to move on to a new person or a relationship just keep your mind uh out of that one person like you know just just keep that person out of your mind um and try to think about something else try to think, think about uh you know other areas of your life maybe but yes, you keeping your guards up means that there is still something in you which is which is not healed which is not um um, which, which is still like, you know, keeping you in there, uh, you know, where, where the situation seems like stuck. So maybe you need to put your guards down and just take this thing out of your mind and move on. Uh, maybe the right decision to do or have right now is to, to, to make things move forward is to let go of it, whatever it is that you're having your guards up against the, this, this, uh, this, um, action is not going to bring you anything positive to be very honest i feel like you know until unless you let go of this one person situation out of your mind things not going to change um and even if you say that no i don't want this person back you are still wishing and hoping for that person to come back for sure let's see more cards here for swords um <clears throat> You do see people talking about uh, your relationships, be that with this person or be that, you know, in uh, for future. Maybe you, your friends are asking you to maybe move on. Maybe you, you hear your parents talking about you as well. Maybe you're going to hear your friends talking about you and your relationships as well, which is definitely, you know, troublesome or bothering you right now. Why? Because uh, you really want things to move forward for yourself as well. Like, you know, you are not the one who's keeping your relationship or yourself stuck in a situation right now. It's like, you know, you cannot help uh, the current situation. 
and you feel stuck at times like you know um you feel that i am ready to move on but at the same time with like i said with this energy you you are not 100 percent ready to move on so it's, it's more like you know you you are listening to other people talking about your your you your relationships and you you your singlehood maybe and maybe you hear them talking about you you know uh hooking you up with someone new but uh even if that happens you are still somehow connected to the past person so it's it's like uh it's very impossible for you to break free from it right now. It's very impossible for you to move on to a new person as well right now. And even if you if you lie to yourself that I I have moved on from this person, it's 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 just a lie. You are trying to fake that. You are trying to basically hide your true emotions from this you know from from yourself right now. You are not ready to face that. But yes, when you are alone, when you are like you know um when you when you uh maybe get in your room when you think when you contemplate you do feel that you you just try to run away or suppress that feeling that you have for this person um but hold on what is it yeah you you feel that the connection is so strong that you are unable to break free from it you are unable to move on you are still waiting on for that person and you feel like uh, this this connection is so strong. You, I feel like you know, as you move towards the second half of the week, you will start seeing the positives of this connection. Again, it, it can be something which has been happening for you for quite some time already. Like maybe you, you know, there are days and times when you feel like, no, I, I, I really don't want to talk to this person and you keep your guards up against this person. Then something happens which brings you back to the same old pattern where you start missing this person, where you start feeling like, no, I, I really think I miss this person. I really want this person. But the good thing here is I don't see you taking any action towards this person. Even if you want this person back, even if you wish that from deepest depth of your heart, which you yourself don't... Uh, feel like accepting as the reality or truth i do see that you know um uh, you are not taking any action towards this person and maybe for some reason because you are not taking any action and it's, it's more of uh, the subconscious thought that you have around this person and reconciliation with this person maybe you will attract that reconciliation with this person especially if you don't have any um any um what we call it uh any negativity attached to it now if you're obsessed with it it's not gonna happen but if you, uh, you know, it's something that your subconscious is, you know, um, making you do or making you think. I feel like, you know, somehow you, you would have this, uh, you know, feel the, you know, a feeling that, that you and your, you know, uh, your person is, is going to come back, you know, subconsciously, or maybe you could pick up some signs. Maybe you have been unwantedly, uh, um, you, you might have been seeing their pictures a lot. You might have been seeing their name a lot. You might have been seeing, you know, the angel numbers a lot, um, which always makes you feel like maybe it's something is going to change in this connection with you and them. Um, so it's, it seems like, you know, there, there is this um, divine calling that you have for this person. And at the same time, I don't see you taking any action towards this person. Let's see more cards. Seven of Swords. But you have a firm belief. Uh, hold on, let me see. That maybe this person is going to make a comeback. <clears throat> okay, it's it's more like you know there are times and days when you feel like uh, I hope this person returns. Then you feel like no, maybe I I'm so ready and I'm so done with it. I I should just move on because you you want this happy committed relationship. But at the same time, um, it's it's a non and off situation. It's a back and <clears throat> excuse me it's a back and forth situation you you are stuck there where you are unable to move on unable to um stay in this connection as well it's more like i don't see you in this connection to be very honest i feel like you know you are trying to withdraw your energy from this connection you are trying to pull away from this connection you are trying to run away from this connection but somehow you are still connected to the same person let's see what is the energy of the person what is the energy of the person <clears throat> what is the person that you are dealing with is doing right now around this connection <clears throat> the fool the chariot the death i need the deck four of cups okay um the moment you pulled away 
they you know initially got so happy as if like yay you know i i so wanted this and i'm so happy that it's finished it's gone it's over then something is going to hit them hard and then they're going to start thinking about you again they're going to start thinking about you in a different light in a different perspective and maybe right now hold on let's ask if this is the current energy of this person the full energy yep Okay. Done. This has happened. This has happened. The um it seems like you know this has happened. Like you know when you when you uh, pulled yourself away from this person, when you withdrawn your energy from this person, this person uh would have uh basically um initially didn't take any step. They, they were happy that it's over, it's done. But then with the passage of time, and if, if you have been out of communication with this person for quite some time already, then this person is about to take some action towards you. They will be reaching out to you with a message or something because now they want a new beginning with you and now they do see you from a different angle, different perspective. Um, let's ask the question, will they be reaching out to you this week time? Will they be reaching out to you this week time? Well, this person will be reaching out to you this big time. Six episodes. No, they will not reach out to you this big time, but they will consider uh or they they will basically with the with the five of swords and this devil and the king and queen of swords, it's uh they might have the understanding that you both are bound to be together eventually. And then uh, maybe this person would be reaching out to you in the next week time. But uh, yes, they, they will have the clarity that yes, they want it to be with you. Or they want to be with you. Uh, hold on. Now let's see. Wow. What is it that you are doing with them in this week? You are going to be indecisive. Uh, you will be like, you know, staying pulled away from this person, uh, waiting for the divine time to intervene in the situation and make things work for you. Whatever is good for you, you are asking God to, to help you get that. Be that a new person, be that this person, be that the reconciliation, be that whatever it is that is good for you, which will, and that that is something which you desire in your love life. You are wishing and hoping that you get that. Um, but I do see that, you know, you are, and your person basically having, um, it seems like, you know, uh, maybe, maybe it's going to come, hold on. Yeah, maybe it's, it's, uh, it's just going to like, you know, um, you are going to have this very indecisive week. Uh, the energies could be reversed, completely, completely reversed for some of you. So just pick how it is resonating with you in your situation. But yes, I feel like, you know, um, I do see you kind of confused where you are feeling the pull uh, from, you know, from this person to uh, to a new person or moving on to a new person and, you know, staying in this connection, waiting on for this person. But when it comes to your person, I feel like, you know, this person is really, uh, let me ask, uh, will you have a new person entering in your love life this week time? I don't see that because with your energy, I don't see another person or any new person coming in your life. But let's see, will you have a new person entering in your life? Uh, the lovers? Knight of Wands, Page of Cups, what the lovers is all about, hold on. For some of you, you might be having a new person coming in your life as well, but what is this then? But maybe you want to manifest a person from the past. Hold on there. And if it's a new person entering in your life, maybe it's going to be brought up uh, in your life by your friends or through your friends. But I don't see you much interested in that person because you are still, you know, uh, waiting for your past person. But yes, for some of you, you might be having a new person entering in your life as well during this week time. <sighs> Let's see. What are the messages from your person, whoever it is that you're dealing with? What is it that they want you to know? What is it that they want to say to you? Let's see. You have been in my dreams lately. This person has been seeing you in your uh, in their dreams lately. Uh, whoever it is that you're dealing with from the past. I left you before you could leave. 
this person might have left you because they felt you are going to leave them or maybe they felt like you know uh, the connection was very much of uh, unstable why because maybe they were not committing and you were tired of them not committing so maybe they left you before you could leave them and they were never ready to give you commitment back then so let's see boring dull and aloof this person could be boring dull and aloof as well whoever it is that you're dealing with let's see last card from this uh i need space Maybe um, your person needed space. Maybe they were not ready to give in to this connection and they, they chose to pull away or something uh, before you could pull yourself away from them. So let's see what these messages, uh, these or you know cards, divine cards have to add to the reading. Believe in your dreams. Um, it's very important for you to believe in your dreams. If you think you want the past person, wait on for that person, it will happen. Are you ready? Reflect. If you think you are ready to have the past person back, make sure that you are because uh, maybe, maybe you are not in alignment with that. Now, if you are ready to accept the new offer and then you are waiting for the past person as well, it's never going to manifest. No, neither the, the new person nor the past person. Why? Because you are conflicted and the universe is also conflicted around that. The more you are having conflicted thoughts around your love life, the universe is going to bring that in your reality. So it's going to bring you the past person, the new person, the past person, the new person. If you are so sure that the past person is what you want, you have to align yourself to that one person only. Um, just, just know if you are doing the right things or not. If you want to move on, then completely move on. Why do you have this, you know, guard up again, this person? You really have to move on completely. You, uh, your life partner is now ready and coming. For some of you, the past person would be ready and coming towards you. Maybe not this week time, but in the in the coming week time, maybe. Um. So yeah, but but they are like you know I do see that the past person would be coming for sure. But a new person is also there in your life. Value yourself and move on. I feel like you know for majority of you, you have done that already, and um, as you do that, the past person is going to come back. That's why I'm picking up. Let's see the oracle card. <clears throat> let's see what it has to add to the reading <clears throat> surrender to the divine i feel like you know it's very important for you to surrender to the divine especially if you're conflicted but again just just focus on to something else like don't focus on your love life right now if you don't know what is best for you just leave it to the god that you believe in just let the god decide what is better for you the past person or the new person let that happen but again if you stay you know on that thought only all the time it's not going to happen easy for you. It's going to get toxic. It's going to get um, uh, more indecisive for you because it's going to keep you um, indecisive. It's going to keep you stuck. So if you really want to surrender to the God that you believe in, then you really have to put the gods down. Just, just focus on to something else. Maybe your work, maybe your personal growth, maybe you know other things, maybe party, maybe, maybe something else that, that keeps you busy mentally, physically and emotionally involve yourself or indulge yourself into something like that if you don't do that if you if you um you know half-heartedly surrender to the god it's not gonna happen easy again it's very important if, if you especially you know if, if you are so sure that this is the person that you want then you have to believe in the prayers that you are you know uh, that you have been praying for you really have to believe in your prayers affirmations dreams now if if you really want to move on then you really have to understand that you really should cut ties from the past person you cannot stay stuck there like you know you want this also you want this also so it has to be like you know one thing that you want do you want a new person okay fine go ahead cut the ties with the past person completely if you want a past person let the universe know that this is what you want and you are not up to meet or see any new person no matter what the current circumstances are you're not gonna um you're not gonna confuse yourself with the with the accepting any or giving a chance to a new person you are not going to give out that confused energy to the universe where the universe is going to bring you more of that energy in your life where you get more confused. So just just be careful what uh, you know what you are doing wrong here in this situation. But I feel like you know the the past person would be coming back for you in the in the coming week time for sure. Your hard work is paying off. Uh, there's a strong chance of the past person coming back in your life. If you really want that person, just stick to that. Like you know, just just uh, um. Think about it. Just maybe uh, act as if you already have them back in your life if that's what you want. So that person comes to you easily and uh, quickly. Um, so yeah, this promise is coming up for you for this week time. If the reading resonates with you, do like, subscribe, and share. If you're willing to get a personal reading, you can always reach out to me for that on my email ID in the description box. Till I do the next reading for you guys, take care. Bye-bye.